Here's an update on the camper. You can see we took off the roof. Basically, I just had to unscrew all the canvas from the inside, obviously detach the door. Um, anything that was attached to the roof on the inside, I um, unhooked. And then on the side panels, we, from the exterior, unscrewed the lifting brackets. Um, there was a nut on this side that we had to um, hold on to and then unscrewed those. So we have the roof here stabilized on two saw horses with just a couple planks of wood running across to support it. And we've taken off all of the sides. So basically we just have the skin and then the roof frame. So let me show you what um, all that looks like. So this was the side on the front, which actually we thought was better. I didn't think it was great, but you can see that it's completely uh, wet and it's heavy, um, holding a lot of moisture. So we're obviously going to repair all four or replace all four of the sides. Um, and we are using one of these um, front and end boards as a template. And then we also are using the skin, the aluminum skin from the side uh, as a template for our two side pieces. We're actually going to be cutting those out of um, 1x12s. I think the back is actually a 1x10. We're going to just be cutting it out of pine and we probably won't worry about like wrapping it in this aluminum that was on there. So this was the inside. This was the inside of the camper. And we're just probably, we might actually keep it wood and stain it or we might paint it white. So we're just gonna have the wood showing on the inside and then it will just be attached to the, um, it'll be attached to the wood framing here and then it'll be attached also with um, contacts and to the aluminum skin. So for the damage, um, this piece of framing wood we're actually going to keep. It's pretty solid. You can tell it's taken wood at some point, but it's still structurally sound and we feel fine leaving it. Um, and it's completely dry too, so that's good. Um, you can see this one is, is still solid. It has taken some water and actually there was a little bit of water um, that was actually right in there. So we're going to obviously let all of this dry out before we put anything back together. But right around here is where you can see more water damage. So we're probably going to right around this point um, replace this uh, piece of wood. And then as you continue to look down, obviously it gets worse and worse. So here, that's just the foam. This piece was <clears throat> here. And it's obviously just crumbling out. It's, it's gone. Um, we won't be obviously using that. So we're going to be stripping away any of this film wood here that's wet or rotted um, from the inside roof. So you can see we started to do that, but we still have more to take away. And then we'll actually be putting a completely different ceiling on top, um, which we'll talk about later. But we actually aren't going to worry about the fact that some of this is exposed because we have a way that we'll um, cover it up and still make it look nice. So. We're obviously going to be keeping the foam um, so here's the back which I may have already showed you but that's all gone so we'll be replacing that piece of wood that was there up in this part and then obviously the whole side too. And then this side, you can see this part is rotted away. We just were able to flake that off. And again, um, on the side, you can see quite a bit of water damage on that piece of wood there. Um, this sideboard, we actually might replace completely. Or we may let it dry out and see See what we're working with. We haven't completely decided on this one yet, but obviously we're going to cut away um, to a place where obviously all of this completely rotted wood is gone. So we've got 
some work to do, but it's nice to know kind of the extent of the damage because when I first was looking into everything in the camper and then when I first started taking it apart, you don't quite know what's going to be okay and what's not. So it's nice to know exactly what we're working with and to have a plan to be able to fix it and then get it back on the camper so we can go camping. You can see all the other parts in our pop-up camper remodel and roof rebuild by clicking and visiting our YouTube channel. And while you're there, I'd love for you to click subscribe to see all my DIY and upcycle projects. Thanks so much for watching.